It's of course possible to delete the messages on your iPhone. You can delete individual text bubbles, as well as remove the entire chat conversation. You can hold down on the specific chat bubble and delete it or swipe on the whole chat to make it go away. But what if you want to bring them back? What could you do in this situation? The very first option to bring your old messages back is by getting them back from your iCloud. So most of us use it even without knowing it. Most of iPhone users have iCloud enabled for messages. If you want to find out about it or pretty much just start to perform this method, you'll need to go to the settings of your iPhone and at the top of the page there is your name, your profile picture, and other personal information. This section is your iCloud zone where all the iCloud and personal settings are located. So of course, open it up and get inside it. Now there are a bunch of different things, but I want you to click on the button or section that says iCloud. This may take a quick while before it fully loads up because this is internet based. But once you're finally inside this section, you can see all the apps using iCloud. At first you can see the photos, drive, and email, but upon clicking on the show all button, you'll be able to see that there are much more apps that actually use iCloud, and in our case, the messages are there too. So locate the messages section, get inside it, and there is pretty much just one toggle that should be turned on for you. It is supposed to be green, and now just turn it off entirely. That means that the unclick, the green toggle, and this pop-up will show up. It'll say that messages haven't been fully downloaded to this iPhone from iCloud. And you can either click, cancel, or disable and download messages. This option literally says that it'll download the messages to the iPhone. So even the text that you currently don't have or have deleted will now be downloaded back to your iPhone. So this is pretty useful. But there are also other methods to at least try to get the messages back to your device. So besides this method, you may also restore your iPhone from backup. As you know, when you back up your iPhone, all of the stuff is going to be stored or saved. And that naturally includes all of your messages as well. Now, depending on when was the last time your iPhone got backed up, keep in mind that automatic backups are also a thing. So it could have happened this way. But according to the time when it got saved, you'll know whether your messages will be there or not. So again... Go to the settings of your iPhone and locate the section with your name at the top. Get inside, and if you scroll down a bit more, you'll see the device backups. And for me, this is turned off. I don't really like the automatic backups, although it's a pretty useful thing. Uh, you also need a lot of storage for it, so unless you're a subscriber to the iCloud Plus or whatever it's called, you won't be able to back up your iPhone properly. But when you do have your iPhone backed up, you can proceed with the steps. You can then reset and erase your entire iPhone. It's pretty drastic because it removes pretty much everything from your device, but it's the way it has to be done. So go to the general section and at the bottom of the page, there is the transfer or reset iPhone section. So get inside there, double check that your iPhone is really backed up properly. So you don't end up losing all your data. And if you're sure about it and want to continue, you can go ahead and click erase all content and settings. After this is done, because it'll take some time for sure, after all this, you'll need to restore the iPhone from backup. So during the setting up process, you'll just select Restore from Backup and choose the latest one you have, or pretty much just pick whichever one you want. If you believe that an older backup should contain the messages, go with the old one. Don't forget, however, that this will restore everything on your iPhone. We're deleting everything and getting everything back just to get our deleted messages to show up. So only do this if you really need to. But using iCloud backup is not the only thing that is available to you. Besides this, there is also another place where you can store your backup, namely on a computer. If you didn't back up your iPhone using iCloud, but instead you physically connected your iPhone to a computer, fired up iTunes, and stored your backup on the hard drive, You'll then be able to restore your iPhone the very same as shown earlier, but not from the cloud, from the internet, but instead from your hard drive, which is essentially the same thing, but just using a different medium. If everything else fails, you can still try to use some third-party iPhone helper that can be installed on your computer. There are some available. I tried once the one called Dr. Phone, but I'm not 100% sure it'll be able to retrieve your old messages. Well, you can still try most of the time for free, so go ahead and try this method. I will put some links to these programs that you can download on your laptop and using which you are supposed to get your messages back. So this is basically the end of this video. I really hope that you found it valuable. I honestly hope that at least one of the methods shown in this video helped you out. If you want to stay tuned and stick around for when new videos will drop, that will 
most likely help you as well, then make sure you are subscribed to the Foxtech YouTube channel. Also, take a look at this next video right here. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.